Today on Nail School, we have a very special episode from the Netherlands with our very special guest, Eleven, who is going to be doing mission control hand painting on top of some insanely sharp stilettos. Right now on Nail School. Okay, I'm really excited to have our guest today. You guys are in for a real treat. These nails are so good. Eleven, can you give us a little bit of a description of what you're gonna do, uh, what you're gonna show us today on Nail School? Yes, I'm gonna make really large, sharp stiletto nails. Love it. Yes, and we're gonna give it a nice summer look. Cool. And I'm gonna use mission control paint, of course. Awesome. Just. Uh, yeah, to make these beauties. So. Do you have any special tips and tricks for people that want to learn how to hand paint? What are some things they can do to make it easier? Uh, what's the, I think the most important thing is really to make sure that you have the right amount of gel on the, on the pencil. Got it. Because if you have too much, then it will flood. If you have too little, then you can make a nice line. So the amount you put on is really important. Got yeah. it. And also I think really believing when you're painting, you can really believe in yourself yeah what you're doing that makes it so much better i love that yeah confidence yeah the right amount of paint yeah. equals what you're about to see i'm telling you these are amazing you ready to go yes let's do it yeah. yeah so the first thing that we're gonna do is push back the cuticles like this not too hard. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna prep the nail bed to remove the shine. To get a good application. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm gonna put on a form. So it's important that you get it straight under the nail you can make sure that it's really straight you can check it from this side if you want to see if it's good right there next step is we're going to use a protein bond of course to make sure it stays on We'll apply uh, two layers. Okay, we're gonna use the cover peach. It's a really nice base color. And I like to work with three beads, especially when I'm doing a long nail. Because it's you know, just easier for me. to make sure I take it all the way up here. Keep the side areas clean, as clean as you can. This is the second one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I applied it, but when I look at the nail, 
I think I need a little bit more thickness. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more on the middle part. Cause it's a long nail. We need a little body. Last bead. Push it all the way into the cuticle. And pull it back. I lost glitter. Okay. To add a little bit here. So everything is in shape. So it's finished now. We're gonna wait for it to dry and then uh, we're gonna file it and put some polish on it. Well, I just finished filing and now we're gonna polish it and I'm gonna use the color Juice Me. I really like the color. I'm just gonna apply this. Make sure you have the whole nail side to side. Get as close as you can to the cuticle area. I'm gonna go in and put it in the light for like 60 seconds so it can dry. I'm gonna apply the second coat. Again, don't forget the sides. Gonna cure it again for 60 seconds. I'm gonna swipe it to make a clean surface because that's really important when you're gonna paint. When you're painting, it's really nice if you have a good amount of gel on your pencil.
Okay. Clean it again. So you make sure there's no dust in it. I'm gonna use the stain resistant top coat. Nice, nice gloss. Yes, and then we can cure it for two minutes. Can we remove the sticky layer? And that's a really nice shine right there. Et voila!